And welcome to it. So if you haven't heard, there's this website slash app called Notion. It's not new at all. It's actually been around for quite a while. I even tried to use it back in July and I just could not understand how to use it correctly. But I finally figured it out and I wanted to show you all. But basically it's like this all-in-one online website that you can just plan everything and anything that you want. So for mine, I have my content calendar, to-do lists, weekly to-do lists, habit trackers, morning routine, night routine, all of my college courses, even a Netflix watch watch list. So it's completely like customizable and buildable for you and tailored to you and how you want it to be. But with that being said, I could not figure out how to build it all from the ground up for the life of me. So I actually found a template off of TikTok. I will put the username and everything of the person who made it. They made so many with like different colored aesthetics. So if you're not interested in like the neutral one that I have, I believe there's a pink, a green, and a purple out there so far. So yeah, go follow them on TikTok. The TikToks are so cute and I'm sure they will have more tips and tricks up for you. I will also have their TikTok and the link tree to be able to download this template up for you. If you don't have a laptop, you can also get it on your iPad. There is a Notion app as well. But yeah, so I'm going to flip it over to a screen recording on my laptop so that I can show you all exactly how to do this. <laughs> really quickly before we start, I'm going to show you a tour of my Notion if you haven't seen it yet. So this is what it looks like, just the main page. Um, so you guys can get an idea of how we're going to be doing this. So you're gonna start out with going to no just look up notion i guess um and then notion.so so oh mine already has it <laughs> so you'll have to start by making an account or whatever i chose the personal plan as also and i just continued with google that's how i did mine um and then you're going to go to the link tree that will be linked below or you could type it in so that is what it is and then here they have all these ones so there's the original, a neutral, sage green, pink, purple lavender. Um, so the one that I used is the neutral notion template. So then there it is. And I actually just want to go look at the other ones for now really quick. Oh, that's so cute. Sage green. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Super cute. Wow. They must have had to put so much time into this. So then once you open up that, you're going to go and click duplicate and then it's going to duplicate it to your notion if you have it set up there you have it ignore this one because that's the one that i already have done so i'm going to just redo this whole one like this one so that you guys can have yours exactly like mine if that's what you're wanting so there it is this is the like name that'll show up here so you can make it whatever you want i made mine a quote and i just said work hard dream big because you know i like that quote so you could do it whatever you want or you could put julia's notion literally just whatever you want it to be we can go ahead and change the covers um i wanted to change the cover because this one doesn't really correlate with me um so i go ahead and click change cover and then i clicked upload and choose an image and I had this collage that I made in a past video. Um, you can download it off my website if you want. So I just have that on my desktop and I click open and then it's going to load over here. You can go ahead and customize this however you want. I deleted the playlist because I don't really vibe with those songs. So I just deleted this whole section by like going, clicking those and click delete. Um, this also doesn't really correlate with me because that's just not my religion. So I went ahead and changed all of this. I changed it to inspiration and affirmations. And I think I clicked this one and just went up to the top title. And then I deleted all these. Delete. Delete. Um, and then I clicked new. And then I clicked property. And then I clicked URL. And then up here, I put my Pinterest home feed URL, 
or whatever. So we're just gonna copy my Pinterest, which you would do for your own, and then that. So now anytime I want to, I just have to click on that and then click here and I can go to my Pinterest link. Um, I'm going to delete this one. And we're just gonna write inspiration in that one and keep my Pinterest there. So I go and change the name of this to college. And then I named, or I kept this a name here, but I just moved it over and lowercased it. And then over here, change those. Okay, so now what I did to make a content calendar was I just went over here to calendar and I clicked duplicate. <laughs> and I go to it and just write content calendar. Um, so then to actually make entries, what you do is click the plus, and I like to label them like YouTube video. And then I add a tag of the name of that video, so how to use Notion. And I like to pick colors, so I make my YouTube videos in brown. And then I'll add another one and put like IG Reel. And then the tag for this one will be Notion. Notion tour. and I like those ones to be gray. So I color code my like content by like tag colors and then that's how I do that for all of the month. And then once you go back to your homepage, it should pop up right under that, under the normal calendar. Now over here under documentation, um, reading directory, I don't really read that much um, and this all looked a little too complicated for me so I honestly just deleted that whole page but you don't have to um, so then that removes it from up here and then there is a watch list if you're interested so I went and added some like random um, TV shows I want to watch I don't know if that's even how you spell that um, so that's how you can do that then um, we're gonna go down to college. You click on the academia, and that's not what I call it. I literally just call it college, so we're gonna rename that. I deleted this because I know my ID number. <laughs> um, so this little area, my spring semester begins January 19th. So I changed that. There is a study playlist, but again, this is not really my vibe, so I just went ahead and deleted that whole section by going to those dots right there and deleting them. Um, and then all these courses, you can customize yourself by clicking on them. And then I just went ahead and rewrote all of my classes. So I know I have Econ 116, and then you could change all that if you're wanting to and put all that stuff in there. Um, and to change the cover of these, you just go and like highlight over it and click change cover. Again, upload and choose an image. I randomly downloaded a bunch of pictures off of Pinterest so that were like aesthetic, if you can see that. Um, so that's what I chose. I also have all those on my Pinterest if you're interested because I know I'm, I'm definitely not taking chemistry. <laughs> so that's why I changed all of them. Okay, so you get the idea on that if you want to customize it based on the classes you're taking. So now back to the homepage. Again, there's still some work to do here. There is like a little song on here, but again, I don't really want that on there, so I deleted that. And then there are some pictures already on there that relate to the aesthetic, but I just wasn't really vibing with this one. So I replaced this one by clicking these three dots, replace, and then choose an image, and I downloaded one off of Pinterest of this cute outfit. Um, I thought that looked really cute and matched my little header up there, so added that, but I kept this one. And then I added a cute little quote over here just by having it on my desktop. I just had it on my desktop and literally dragged it over, drug it over, and it uploaded it right into the spot that I wanted it to, and so it's really cute. <laughs> Again, down here there's a prayer log, but I don't really need that, so I deleted that. And then down here there's a cute quote, but I wanted a different one, so I wrote this. Okay, so then there's the weekly list, the to-do, so you can write whatever you want, like edit video. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then obviously check this off as you're done, so that's really fun. Um, I deleted this and I don't really know what this is or how to use it so I just deleted it to make it less cluttered 
and you can also delete these little spacers and I don't really need any of this either so I also deleted that I just love how it's also customizable um, so I believe that's it for the home page and if you don't like any of the headers you can change those it's really great to just go to your Pinterest and download a bunch of aesthetic photos that you like um, if you want my Pinterest I'll link it below. I have so many, if you just go to like my saved and honestly just go to all pins, um, I have a bunch of like the tan and neutral ones. If you want more like things to add, you can add your own page, but then you have to figure out how to do all that on your own. And I do not know how to do any of that. Um, and then there's also templates for pages. So if you have design, you can make a roadmap. My major is marketing. So there's like media list, content calendar, mood board, um, if you do engineering, wow, they have stuff like all that. Um, then they have some personal ones, like all of those. Ooh, travel planner is cool. Wow. And, there, and then I believe if you just look up like Notion template on TikTok, there will be so many that come up because people love making these. So there are so many options out there. Definitely take advantage of them. So if you don't want to just use the website version, you can also download the app and I'll put the little tutorial here really quick. Um, but this is just to have it as like an app on your laptop instead of having to go to a website every time. So I think that's really nice. And then it also transfers over to an app on your iPad as well if you have an iPad. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram for more inspiration and fun little organization things like this. And subscribe to my channel, obviously. Hit the thumbs up button if this helped you. If you do try this out, please take a picture of it and post it on your Instagram story and tag me so I can see it. I'm really interested in seeing what you guys can do with Notion. Okay, so if you have any questions or if I forgot something, please comment below and I'll try my best to help you out. And that is it for this video. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video on Monday.